Most people nowadays are concerned with making money and accumulating wealth. So in this video, we're going to take a look at 15 things that can make you rich like most rich people who build their portfolios. These 15 things that we're going to talk about are called assets. But first, let's clarify the distinction between assets and liabilities. Liabilities cost you money, while assets put money in your pocket. Before we go deeper into 15 wealth building assets, if you're new to our channel, please subscribe to see more videos like this and click the notification bell to be updated whenever we upload a new video. Let's get started. Number 1. Cash Cash in a bank deposit earns you interest pretty easily. The downside is that bank interest payments are now even keeping up with inflation. However, cash is still a top priority. So, why do the wealthy keep so much of their wealth? Cash reserves provide wealth for two reasons. One of the most important aspects of being a millionaire is being able to take advantage of any opportunity that arises. This is one of the primary reasons that wealthy people save money. If you think about it, the deal of your dreams is right in front of you, but you lack the funds to take action. 2. They can earn higher returns on cash transactions People using peer-to-peer -peer lending services can earn higher returns on cash transactions and lend money at a high interest rate. The average bank offers less than 1% interest on deposits, whereas peers' rates range from 7% to 15% to 20%. Please keep in mind that if something seems too good to be true, it probably is. When investing, it most likely maintains a rational mind. Number 2. Real Estate This is a big one. Why? Once again, two reasons. First and foremost, rent is paid every month with minimal effort. If you're a little smarter, you can take advantage of current technological advancements and do short-term rentals instead of traditional ones but for higher yields. But it's not as passive. To be 100% passive and truly have no work, you can purchase an investment property that earns a rental income. The second is that, even with the coronavirus outbreak, Population numbers are increasing, and more and more people need a place to live or rent. Because demand is increasing, property prices are constantly rising, and they are always making real estate. One of the best real estate investments a person could make. Residents of one residential building live in your properties and pay you rent. People who work in your office buildings pay you rent. Commercial construction companies use your space to sell goods and pay you. Land that can be developed or even left for appreciation is an asset. However, the house you live in is not an asset. It's an issue. Number 3. Bonds The government businesses may need funds right now. They can issue bonds, which are then sold to interested investors. The government or business promises to pay a certain amount of money to the person purchasing the bonds through these bonds. Bonds typically have an expiry date ranging from 1 month to 30 years. Because they are mostly backed by the government, these are extremely safe investments. However, as you are probably aware, low risk in business also imply low rewards. Bonds are typically in the 3% range, which is higher than most banks offer, but not high enough to excite a novice investor when the bond's principal amount is returned to the investor. People typically purchase bonds directly from the Treasury Department or through a brokerage firm. Number 4. Stocks Stocks aren't as difficult to understand as Wall Street would have you believe. Stocks are a simple way to own a percentage of a publicly traded company. For example, if the company issues 10 million shares and you own 1 million of them, you own 1% of the company. Because of this incredible advancement in financial instruments, 
the average person can now own a stake in some of today's most profitable companies with very low entry barriers. There are numerous platforms available for purchasing and investing in this type of stock. According to BusinessInsider.com, the best stock trading apps of 2022 are Charles Schwab, Thinkorswim Trading Platform, Sophie Active Invest, Vanguard, Fidelity, Interactive Brokers, and Ally Invest. Number 5. Mutual and Index Funds Mutual funds and index funds combine multiple companies, so you're investing in the entire basket of companies. As a result, you are more diverse and it is a safer investment, and they are statistically the best performing asset class. Whereas stocks allow you to buy individual shares in a company, index funds will allow you to hold many different companies at the same time. Vanguard Total Stock Market Index, Fidelity Total Stock Market Index, Vanguard S&P 500 ETF, Schwab US Small Cap ETF, and Vanguard High Dividend Yield ETF are the five most popular index funds in the United States. If you buy stocks one at a time, you're statistically more likely to make a mistake. You're not going to be one of those traders who outperform the market year after year. You don't have that kind of information and competing with the big boys is extremely difficult. Index funds can help you with this. The S&P 500 index consists of the top 500 performing companies. When a company drops out of the top 500, it is replaced by a new, high-performing one. Over the last 90 years, the S&P 500 index has averaged at 9.8% annual total return. Vanguard is our top pick index fund and should be in every portfolio of everyone who's looking to build wealth over the long term. Number 6. Equipment an asset is anything that generates money for you or helps you make money faster. The tractor is useful if you're a farmer. The laptop is useful if you're a programmer. If you work as an Uber driver, your car is a valuable asset. Whether something is an asset or a liability depends on whether it has a direct relationship to the money you generate. Purchasing a tractor is a liability unless your income is directly dependent on it. It's very common for people to mix the two up. They try to justify it as an asset when, in reality, they are mismanaging their finances as a result of a lack of self-control. You absolutely don't need the most expensive laptop on the market to watch Netflix and YouTube videos. Number 7. Patents When you create something new, you can protect it by applying for a patent. It is a document that certifies the inventor and describes your invention in detail. If companies must pay to use your innovation and if they do not, you have the right to sue them. To put things into perspective, a single patent can make you wealthy and all of the best inventions are protected by patents. Scott Stillinger invented the Koosh Ball, which Hasbro purchased for $100 million in 1997. Big Mouth Billy Bass, the animatronic fish you saw on everyone's wall a few years ago, is also worth over $100 million. Number 8. Trademarks Patents protect your invention, whereas trademarks protect your symbols, words, or phrases. It's obvious why this is important when it comes to a brand's logo or name. But here's where things get interesting. If you own a valuable trademark with a marketable value, you can license it to others to use for commercial purposes, and they will pay you in return. Trademarks can be local or international, but enforcing them is difficult. Just to keep things interesting, one out of five U.S. companies claims that Companies in China are infringing on their intellectual property. One of the main reasons China has grown so quickly is its complete disregard for intellectual property rights. Every year, China steals $600 billion in intellectual property from the rest of the world. 
But in any case, please like this video if you find this informative and entertaining. Number 9. Brand and Goodwill There is a distinction between brand and goodwill, but both are extremely valuable to any business. A brand is an imprint that a company leaves in the minds of customers, representing what they stand for and who they present themselves to be. People's emotional attachment to your brand is referred to as goodwill. A brand is owned. It's an attempt by the company to project a specific image of itself in the marketplace. The way a company treats its customers, the positive impact it has on the community, and how grateful people are that the company exists all contribute to goodwill. People will save businesses from bankruptcy because of their goodwill toward them. Some companies have become extremely successful solely through branding. The Kardashians are a prime example of this. However, if Kim or Kylie put their names on something, they can drive sales like no one else. We're not sure if Kylie's lip kits are any better than those of her competitors, but they did make her a billionaire. Of course, other examples could help to drive this narrative even further. Consider a plain black t-shirt. They can be purchased for less than $2, but with a Disney logo on them, they are now worth $10.99 due to the intangible value the brand adds to the item. Number 10. People People don't realize how valuable they are until they leave. Few people comprehend this. Companies are figments of our imagination, validated by the state, not real entities. Companies are names, ideas, and the innovation that takes place under this fictitious umbrella. And who thinks of all these? It's the people. With their ideas, a single person can completely transform a company. Look at the impact that replacing Steve Jobs with John Diet Coke's Indra Nooyi has had on the company and how much it's changed over the years. And just look at Apple. Their lead product designer, Johnny Ivey, designed the products that are now in the hands of billions of people. The harder it is to replace some people, the more valuable an asset they are to you. So make sure they know they're appreciated. Hire the right people and they'll make you rich. Number 11. Raw Materials and Commodities The price of raw materials and commodities fluctuates and varies according to market conditions. If you're wise, you'll buy when it's cheap, hold it, and sell it when it's in high demand. This holds for everything in life, from money, to oil, to gold, to cryptocurrency, to luxury cars, and art. The price of gold has increased by 278% in the last 15 years. Most of you may be surprised to learn that we value art as an alternative asset class. Few people are aware that for the past two decades, art has outperformed the S&P. This is one of the main reasons why wealthy people spend ridiculous amounts of money on art. It is increasing their wealth. The same is true for classic cars. While your car is costing you money, some of the world's wealthiest people are investing in rare vintage cars that are rapidly increasing in value. Before you go out and spend all of your money on a vintage Rolex because you read on Quora that they double in value over time, you should take a deep breath. Never put your money into something you don't understand. It's one of the most important money rules. If you disobey it, you will never be wealthy. Number 12. Books, songs, digital courses, information, or content. Information is an incredible commodity to sell. You only have to write the book once, and it can be sold a million times. The same is true for a digital course, a song, or any other type of digital information or product. Creating and distributing such asset not only increases the value of the business, but can also make you very wealthy. It's even more interesting with music, because you only have to get it right once, and you're set for life. A good example is the Gangnam Style. 
Mariah Carey earns around $500,000 per year from a single hit song that we all know and love. All I want for Christmas is the song that make her over $60 million. Number 13, Royalties. On the previous points, we rushed a little bit on royalties. The simplest way to put it is that you wrote an excellent book. A movie studio wants to buy the rights to your book and adapt it into a TV show. In exchange, you will receive a portion of the proceeds. Assume the TV show is Friends. You've already made a lot of money. The show ends after 12 seasons and you're already wealthy. But it does not end there. For example, the cast of the TV show still earns between 10 and 20 million dollars per year from the show's reruns. The most recent big hit is The Big Bang Theory, which got a multi-million dollar deal with HBO for exclusivity until 2028. Royalties apply to everything related to your intellectual property. When George Lucas proposed Star Wars to them, he became a billionaire. They didn't give it much thought about giving him royalties because they were assuming it would fail. Long story short, the movie is a huge success. And by 2001, the toys and merchandise had brought in over $3 billion to compensate for their mistakes. Disney paid $4 billion for the acquisition of Lucasfilm. Number 14, Unique Right. Advantages can be considered anything from specialty licenses to geographical advantages if it gives you a competitive advantage in the marketplace. For example, in the US, there's something called the Indian Gaming Regulatory Act, which grants Indian natives all the right to all types of gambling activities regulated under state law. The church is another example since they don't have to pay taxes and this happens all over the world and Eastern Europe. Number 15. First Mover Advantage and Proprietary Business Models When you innovate in a commercial setting, you are considered an asset. Apple App Store is one of these innovations. Microtransactions and games are a new type of business. Netflix's transition from delivering solid DVDs to a streaming service has been viewed as a very valuable asset for the company. It gave them an advantage in capturing market share while everyone else was sitting on the sidelines. It took a few years for the rest of the industry to catch up, but now streaming services are everywhere. The same thing happened with music. You used to buy physical albums before moving on to digital albums. You only have to pay for Spotify titles or YouTube premium airtime now. With a new service, Airbnb has disrupted the hotel industry. It's been a long video, but we hope you got your time's worth out of it. You now have to figure out a way to take advantage of any of the assets mentioned in this video. If you've made it this far into the video, we're curious which of these assets you plan to secure in the future. We can't wait to hear from you in the comments. For those of you still watching, we of course have a bonus piece of information just for you here. You might not have the financial resources to purchase all of the assets mentioned, but you do have an asset that you can exchange for money. It is time-based money called time arbitrage. Time arbitrage means you use your time to generate money and then use the money to buy other people's time. For the time being, you can pay this person less than the money you're earning. This is a fundamental business lesson. It's why every single company has employees. Every single person in an organization is generating more value for the company than they are being paid by the company. Please write TM in the comment section of this video if you've made it this far and understand the time money time concept. Your comment will perplex everyone else. Thank you for taking the time to visit us. Please like and subscribe to ensure that you will never miss another video. We've also handpicked these videos for you to watch next. Thank you for your time and we'll see you again tomorrow.